Hello farmers, welcome back to Solendra, just over here behind the sawmill. And I got a plan for taking down the trees. Um, that yarder? Yeah, well it does move, right? So, probably the best thing I could do is uh, bring the yarder out here and find trees to tie in out there and pull the trees over to behind the sawmill. And then I can put the yarder back there and hook up to that tree back there and just pick up the, lo pick up the logs again. And transport them over to the sawmill. I could, of course, always go and purchase or lease uh, one of these things. Um, but I tried it on no man's land. I tried it in 19. I'm just not good at all using the log grabber. I know I usually say the more you use it, the better you're going to get at it. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's true for me on that. Uh, but yeah, the easy way for me is just to bring the yarder out, tie it to a tree down there. Drag the logs over here. And then put the yarder back in uh, where we need to. Then tie off to that tree, and then of course the cable go right over where the logs are. Then we just gotta pick them up and move them. It's just an extra step, but I think they'll be quicker than me trying to pick them up with the log grabber. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do the auto loading trailers because we're trying to stay away from that on this series. So uh, that is that, but that is for the future, not today because the sawmill is still up and running uh, from the uh, from the plants. So yeah, from wood we put in yesterday in the month of May. Uh, we are in the month of June now, by the way. Uh, still got about four and a half thousand liters of wood, and we got a good amount of planks. Uh, we'll sell those in July, right? It's July, but I better check on it because we haven't been here a full year yet, so the prices could fluctuate a little bit um, because we really, you know, I think we start in August, so that's when the price was. The best price says fourteen twenty nine, and the price is getting up there. That is going to be very key for us. Uh, the first thing I want to do this episode before anything happens is we're going to go into farmlands. Um, the barley is ready in field number 26. Uh, before I buy it, let me make sure it's, they haven't uh, harvested the field yet before I go and buy it. Uh, field number 26, uh, that is that is the one, right? Barley, barley, barley. All right, let's go ahead and buy that. It's going to cost me 17424 but that is fine. Uh, yes, we're going to buy it outright. The barley is ready to go. And if we look at the field, the field's in like perfect condition. Other than it wasn't mulched. Uh, you can see it's been double fertilized. If I take fertilization off, doesn't need to be plowed, doesn't need lime, doesn't need rolling. It's all in good condition. Yep, it's still there. Goody, goody, good. Uh, so now we own this field, ready to go. 98%. Uh, uh, we'll take it. This wasn't mulched. Uh, I, when I was over here checking on the field, I noticed that one of our greenhouses uh, looks dead. It's out of water already. So I was thinking about maybe putting down the production building for water and seed. From the open air gardens so that's only gonna cost a thousand um instead of me you know filling up water and going to each one i could just fill up a tanker or go individually but right now i think we're gonna stick with going individually so i'm just gonna come over here and fill these up uh, later on i'm not in big of a rush to do that uh someone also did leave a comment in the last episode it's probably would be a good idea since the gardens are so cheap i could upgrade the gardens and produce more strawberries and get more in the only thing is if i do um double the production it's just going to use the fertilizer the seed and the water faster the water we don't care about water's free seed and fertilizer it'll go through that a little bit quicker but we make a profit from doing so so we can go ahead and do that uh next thing uh saving content thank you um for some reason i did not see it last time or did not scroll down far enough uh about the chicken coop so i have the chicken coop we're going to put down it's not the one i was looking at and someone did mention, how about putting it over by the sheep? And I'm like, well, we do own some area by the sheep. And we got that little part of the field that kind of kicks in behind the sheep. That's not really convenient for farming for a harvester. But when I was in there looking at the chicken coops again, and this chicken coop is part of the map, uh, it's part of the mods of the map, the Barvan Barvarian Farm Pack. This one holds 360 chickens and it's relatively small and only cost nine grand and if we look of course i don't have enough money to do so right now but for nine grand i can i can sneak that in right here right next to the sheep and we do own this land right here um so eventually i'll, I'll probably just get rid of this little corner of the farmland so i can get in here with a telehandler handler to feed the the sheep and take the wool on out so um, we can put the chicken coop right here uh, won't be this month because we don't have the cash and I want to wait until July to sell the planks So the chicken coops gonna go right here for nine grand 360 chickens. That's a lot of chickens. So they'll produce a lot of eggs But of course with a lot of chickens means I'm gonna need a lot of feed 
And that's where the field that uh, we bought comes in. Uh, we're, let's go over there and get ready to harvest that. I uh, will get straw off that field as well. Um, I may just sell the straw. Is the straw the same as like every other map where it's like winter is the best time to sell it? Uh, where am I going here? Straw, straw, straw. Where is the straw? And let's see here. Yeah, December, but we're looking at $48 down to 33 So 48 is a high, and today it's going for 38 I mean, it's $10 difference per 1,000 liters. Uh, so maybe I'll just go ahead and sell it. Uh, the grass is ready for harvest, but I want to let it go one more growth stage before we do so. So let's go grab our combine and sneak on over and start harvesting our barley for our future chickens. We'll just stick the barley right into our sawmill. Uh, saw yeah, <laughs> our uh, silo. I haven't used a silo yet. It'd be nice to use it. Uh, how much straw do we have here? We got a 54,000 liters, 5,000 liters, 11,000 liters. Uh, we got a good amount of straw here, and the horses aren't really going through that much. All right, probably the best way to go out is this way. Let's sneak on through, right? I mean, we brought it from the store on down. We should be able to bring it all the way on back to the other side. So that is the game plan for now. Uh, I don't think I'm going to sneak underneath that tree, will I? Yes, we will. Uh, fabric is doing good. Oh, the one thing I didn't check on, I think now we were at 60,000. So, yep, the spinnery is keeping up with the greenhouse now, little by little. Someone did mention, though, there's enough cotton in there currently to where I could take all the greenhouses for a little while and stick them on another product and or just have the cotton be sold directly instead of being, you know, sent on down to the spinnery. But for now, we'll just keep it as is and see how it goes. But I think we're just going to focus on, for now, getting this field harvested and kind of focus on getting the chickens up and going. I'm not going to buy all 350 chickens. We'll get like a rooster, which technically we don't need, but I always like putting a rooster in the chicken coop along with maybe 50 chickens. I, I, we'll just have to see what I get for our harvest off this field. It's going to be a decent harvest, though. Glad that river's not too deep right there. I kind of thought about putting the chickens over here, but then, you know, it just got to be more of a mess than anything. So I was like, no, let's not go and do that. Now, let's see. I should be on swath dropping, but I'm not. Enable straw swath. Can I sneak underneath that tree? Yes, we can. All this crop right here, all this barley is for the chickens. So I would say I hope I get 10,000 liters, but that would be... I, 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 gotta, I gotta start understanding small maps, smaller fields. Um, we'll see what we get. I have no idea what I'm going to get off this field. That's not too bad. One pass, 1,000 liters. I'll, I'll take that for starters. So probably keep this field here. Well, you know what? Um, I'll probably take this field here and the field right in front of us and merge these two together. And then the field further on ahead, I'll make that into a wheat or barley field for the chickens. So uh, let's see. So one big field of sorghum, kind of a smaller field for the chickens. And of course, we got the oat field for the horses, which I could always change that as well. Or I could merge all three of these fields together and make one sorghum field. And then the field down uh, over by the sheep pen, I can go ahead and make that a wheat or barley field for the chickens. Because I can just feed the horse the sorghum. I don't have to give them oats. I can give them sorghum. But I think we'll have, I'll wait and see. Of course, we won't be planting until next season. Uh, we'll see how we're doing on the feed and exactly what we're doing here. Because... Uh, yeah, my thoughts are changing 
episode by episode what I need to do here. Yeah, we definitely need to make more money. I know a couple of people said, hey, you need, you need some money coming in. Uh, yes, we do, and we're getting there. So I think uh, my attack plan as of now is looking good, or at least better than it did at the uh, end of the last episode, trying to figure out where to put the chicken coop. Um, buying more land other than this field here wasn't really a good option, I don't think. I didn't want to buy land to put the chicken coop on because that just put me further into the hole. Now that I kind of figure out the sawmill, I don't know why. I, I, I tend to overlook things once in a while. I mean, it, it happens uh, <laughs> to me a lot. But on the sawmills, like, you know, why, why don't you just take the yarder out back to the sawmill and then cut down trees and drag the logs there, then then reposition the yarder again and fill up the sawmill. Yeah, you got to keep that sawmill going. got to keep the spinnery going. And soon enough here, uh, the chickens will be up and going. Yeah, before I started recording the episode, I was looking at the Goldcrest Valley chicken coop again. I'm like, okay, where are we going to stick that? Where are we going to stick that? And I happened to said, well, what other... Because that that uh, mod I got is chicken coops from other maps. Uh, and, I was, and also I saw the Barbarian one, and I was like, uh, wait, I don't, I don't remember that one. Where did that one come in? I'm like, oh, that's right. I had to, you have to download a whole bunch of uh, packs when you get this map. And it was part of the pack. Then when I saw it held more chickens and it was smaller and cheaper, I was like, well, why wouldn't I go that route? Well, I was thinking about bringing the Fiat over with the trailer, but I'm not even going to need it. Uh, 4,000 liters of barley is pretty decent. But I don't think that'll be enough to supply the chickens for a long time, so maybe... Uh, when we put down the chicken coop, maybe not get as many chickens. That way we start off small, and hopefully by next year... I think that plan of uh, merging these three fields here together... We'll have to take down some trees in between the fields here. Uh, make this all sorghum. And then the oat field that we currently have, probably make that wheat or barley. I can feed the chicken sorghum as well. But uh, we'll attack that next year, what to plant and where to plant. But it'd be a good idea to figure out if I need to convert this all into one field back here or keep it two fields in one field. That I will have to decide on. So not too bad, about 4,400 liters of barley off that field. Scoot John back over to the farm. We'll dump this on into the silo. Slowly sneak down Main Street. I think the best way into our farm is the way we came out. I'm not going to try to go up over that way. It's it kind of crowded there. I could sell some fabric, but the price is dropping kind of fast on that. So I'm kind of hoping I can hang on to the fabric until next, uh, next season. Maybe survive on selling planks at the lower price. This will be my first time using this silo. So I'm assuming in is here. I can't dump directly into the silo this way. Alright, how about if I turn on the triggers to remind myself where they're at. So I can't do it with... Oh, no, there it goes. Okay, I must have been just too close. I was like, okay, maybe it's one that won't accept it right from the combine. I'll have to put it into a trailer, then dump it on in. 
I forgot how many liters this silo holds, but I'm not going to bother looking up because I don't think we're going to actually have ever too much in there. But this is a good start for the chickens, I think. But feeding 350 chickens, that's going to require a good amount of feed for them. I do have to remember, I do got beehives, even though they're not on my property. Uh, maybe I'll swing in there, see how much honey we have. They're the small beehives, so I'm not expecting too much from them. is what we're going to have to use for the baler. And then while I'm over there, we'll grab the water tanker, get that hitched on up, and uh, start topping off the greenhouses. Probably won't even get uh, maybe two bales if I'm lucky. Let me see, am I on the biggest baler? I think 150 is the big, no, 180 is the biggest. And I'll reduce it down to 150 if I'm making silage bales. I didn't even bother checking the store pages for and see what's on for sale because I knew I was going to use all the money on this field here. I don't even have the money to buy anything if I wanted to. If I can get one bale, that'll be nice. Uh, a little bit of uphill. It's going to struggle. You can do it. Just got to find the right gear. That's my field. Don't drive in that. I'll destroy the crop. Okay, I destroyed some. I just lost about uh, maybe 20 bucks. But right now, 20 bucks is 20 bucks to me. Oh, that's right. These bales... <laughs> Every time I go from East Island to this map here, I keep forgetting that the bale sizes are not going to be the same size. Oops, that's right. This one here, I got to stop. Oh, good. I don't have automatic drop on. Wait, this will pick up straw going backwards? Interesting. Uh, Z to turn on the drop or... Why to unload? We'll just uh, do it manually, I guess. Probably should check on the greenhouses to make sure they're going to run longer with the fertilizer and see what they have. But even if they are, they are going to run out, not much I can do about it right now with the $2,000 that I have. 
The next month should be pretty darn good. Uh, I lost track of how many pallets of planks we're going to have. And almost at $2,000 per plank, it should be pretty darn good money coming in. I was hoping for two bales and we might get there. But usually when the when the swath has little droplings like this, it's gonna be hard to get that last little bit. I guess I kind of lucked out with the field being in just about perfect condition, 98% yield out of 100. Alright, so we didn't get another bale, but that'll be fine because I do believe tomorrow the oat field will be ready. So we'll get our, you know, the first bale will come out pretty quickly. Can I unload the bale that's in there? No, I cannot. Okay. There was a mod in 19 that would allow you to unload the bale if it was like at least 60% full or 50% full. Don't know if that mod came out in 22, and if it did, it doesn't matter because I don't have it currently. But it ain't going to matter because in just a month here, we'll be doing oats and we'll have plenty of straw and a couple more bales on out. I know I said I would get the greenhouses, but uh, I think we'll do that with the Deutz. Use all of our tractors today. Yep, we got three pallets of fabric sitting there. So, got to make sure the sod mill keeps on running because I think I'll try to offset our midnight payments with the sawmill rather than the fabric so I think I'll take less of a hit that way than if I were to sell the fabric at a cheaper price sneak in there if I can Uh, now that I harvested the field, does that need lime at this point? No, it doesn't. So it's good for another another year at least. Let's grab the doits and we'll go over and start uh, filling up the water tanker and get the first greenhouse taken care of so I can start, start producing. And I think while I'm over there, I think I'll take the advice of what someone said is currently... Right now, maybe take all four greenhouses and just put them on making strawberries or what have you. And then uh, when the spinnery does need some cotton, we can change it back over. Uh, yeah, I know I said I was going to chuck in the honey. This is what we got currently. Is it a full pallet? 400 liters. I don't know how many pallets can spawn in this one. Did I usually use the modded... Uh, honey spawning point where it can spawn depending on which one I want to put down so I don't know how many this one holds although I don't think I got a symbol that said no more place for honey uh, uh, honey when do we sell the honey 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 well it's a thousand dollars currently and the best price is in February for a thousand one ten that's not a bad price for being mid market, but that would actually that would be right because the 1100 down to 900 middle market would be a thousand. Um, doesn't go back up until September, and the price won't be equal to what we have now until January. Uh, we'll leave that there for now if I can. 
Uh, I'd rather sell stuff when the max price is available to us. As long as I don't need the money, we'll do that. I mean, I do need, need the money, but next month should be a good month for us. So we'll grab our water tanker and get that greenhouse taken care of. So it looks like I got three of the four greenhouses on selling strawberries. How close do I have to get to that water? I guess that's close enough. Well, technically I'm in it. Even though the grass is there, you can see the water flickering. And these will hold 20,000 liters of water. Can I get around? Not quite. Now, if I were to go in there and let's see here, production buildings, we'll turn off that one. Strawberry seed and solid fertilizer is what I need. Strawberry seed, solid fertilizer. Activate that. I could also make... Another product, I would have double the production, correct? Because it's not like the greenhouse can only do so much cycles per month on a certain product. If I activated a whole bunch of these, it would make a whole bunch at the same time. Hmm. And how much is it to upgrade these? I don't have enough money. Uh, these were... $2,000 a piece, so it'll be $2,200 to upgrade. So maybe I'll think about it in between episodes here, about uh, if I want to up the production by making it make multiple things. And that way I can get more money at midnight or during the day by selling the product outright. Oh, I got to go back into that one. Uh, wait a minute. Strawberry storing. Strawberries need to be selling all right so with the greenhouse up and running and we'll make ourselves a little bit more cash Instantly, rather than doing it through the spinnery, making fabric, and having to wait. Uh, that would have been fine if I just teleported. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll just get some more money instantly and offsetting that payment at midnight here. Let's go get that straw bale. That one lonely straw bale. I think we'll sell it. Just to give us a little bit more extra cash. I'm not going to wait until December to sell it for an extra... Uh, these are what, 7,000 liter bales? So $70 extra is what I would get if I would hold on to it until December. Our oat field is looking pretty darn good. Sorghum field is looking pretty good as well. Now here's a tricky situation. I'm driving an electric telehandler and I gotta drive through water. It'll be all right. Yeah, that water's not deep enough to get up into the batteries and cause an electrical short, I guess. So <laughs> everything's okay. Scoop this straw bale up. Go get her a little bit of cash. 
And then I think we'll grab the Fiat and we'll grab the Yarder. And we'll start getting some wood ready for getting to be put into the sawmill. So I'll probably need to add some next month. Yep, yeah, next month is going to be a busy month. The grass fields will be ready to be mowed. Uh, I just got to figure out if I want to make silage again. Or do I want to make some hay? Got to sell the sawmill uh, planks. Our oat fields should be ready for harvest. Alright, so where is the trigger for selling this? It should be in here somewhere. Am I got to put it down? Guess you guys gotta put it down. 274 bucks for that straw. So not a whole lot of cash, but it's cash. Ooh, I see a piece of cheese. Well, there's a nice little bit of change coming on in, a thousand bucks. Kind of forgot about the pieces of cheese. I kept saying, what's that yellow thing on the ground? Oh, that's right, it's cheese. So it's a little bit more smoother coming into the farm here and with those bushes being gone makes it look more more like it's getting used a little bit. Now let's uh, spin this around, park it on up, we'll grab the Fiat, go grab the Yarder and get set up and maybe cut down just a few trees. I should check on the sheep. Yes, we got a lot more sheep. A lot more sheep. So they should be bringing the wool a little bit more and more. Oh, and, and the horses. How close are the horses for... Uh, they're about halfway to adulthood before they start reproducing. I think we got them right in August, did we not? So they take a while to reproduce. Didn't have them long enough on no man's land to figure out exactly how the reproduction thing went. Same thing with the pigs. We got the pigs and the horses late. That's why here we're doing horses because I want to give them a shot even though, like a lot of people said, the horses are not really worth doing, which they're probably not. Uh, but, you know, we're going to give it a try. Just give it a go because, you know, probably not many people do horses. I uh, figured, why not? Uh, why not we try? Same thing with the pigs on East Vineland. Uh, we're just going to give them a go and try out, trying out some things and see how it goes. It's not always about making loads of money. Sometimes it's just about trying things out, having some fun with some things. All right. So as long as I get like uh, like right about here ish. And there's that tree right there, so yeah, we kind of want the yarder to be like right here. Nope, nope, no, 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 you gotta lower it. And I can leave it running, because it does need to be running. And usually the first time I grab this, it says the angle's not good. Uh, how about this tree? So I know when I, if I, if I try facing the yarder, you know, I had the Fiat facing away from us and the yarder facing directly towards the back, it doesn't work either. I'll give it a go this way, see if I can figure this thing out one way or another. Let's try here. Tree not in the right angle to the yarder, use different one. So is it always facing out? Yeah, it's green. So it only faces out one way, apparently. Whatever. Uh, can we just stick it to... 
That'll do it. That'll, that'll be fine. That's good. And the tree should fall to the left. So, double the work, yes. Faster. Still may be this way. Rather than getting a trailer with a crane on it and trying to get it into the bath and then bring it to the sawmill. Of course, I could use super strength and just move it on down, but try not to do that either. Unless things don't go kind of right. So, try to do things the right way here. Well, without using uh, the assistance. Try to keep it more realistic, I guess I should say. Rather than using auto loaders, super strength. If only delimbing trees was that easy in real life. So I think to kind of save myself a lot of time, the best thing to do is probably like uh, clear out this entire area as much as I can and get all the logs I possibly can there and then slowly feed the sawmill as it needs. Well, the, the sawmill is going to be able to hold more than what I can probably bring over for what I'm doing anyways. Is that my tree? No, it's not. Now, on Silver Run, I remember that yarder, the other yarder that we used, that went a long ways. I think this one goes about half the distance of that one. So I think we'll be okay. If I need to get my uh, uh, tree uh, cutter over here for stumps and take care of those, we got to start replanting some trees down so uh, they can grow and just make it a little bit more easier for me to Cut down some trees. And then drop them. Bring it on back. All right, hitch to that one. Oh, I think someone said, I don't know if they, they said exactly this, but they said, don't be cutting down the tree that your cable's going to, but you can't. You're not allowed to cut this tree because it's Tony, that's the one the cable's attached to. I may have misread the comment, but uh, if you did say that, yeah, you, you can't cut down the tree that your yarder is attached to. really don't have to get rid of limbs here, but just make it easier for when I go to hook them back up. It'll be easier to find the ends of the trees rather than have a whole mess of limbs everywhere. Oh, I didn't call the yarder back? I thought I did. I was like, why won't that attach? It says I'm in the, in the zone. Uh, the four deer are coming out here. They're like, dude, you're taking away our, our forest area. Yeah, but we're growing nice grass for you at the same time. All right, that is a good start for now. Look out, deer. And drop them. And I think our engine will shut off automatically if I don't use it long enough. Yeah, it shuts off. It shuts off. So now, what will happen next, well, maybe not next, is I'll bring the yarder into here 
tied to that tree off in the distance and the yard cable should go right over all those trees we just dropped off there that I can bring them on into the sawmill. But we should be good for another month here. Uh, let's see, I got four pallets in storage. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, two, four, six, eight, 32, four. Uh, we got about 36 pallets here right now. And at almost $2,000 a piece, it's almost 2000 I don't want contracts. Uh, planks, plank, plank, planks. Okay, it's $1,500 a piece. All right, so we'll just say we're gonna, we're probably going to have about 40 planks. So that would be like $60,000 worth of planks that we can sell tomorrow in about that area. Probably a little bit less than that, maybe fifty-five, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 uh, in the next month, which will be enough to allow us to put down the chicken coop and buy a few chickens and uh, get that process kind of started. They can start making their wonderful, wonderful eggs. Uh, we'll have our oat field to harvest. Uh, we'll get some more straw bales. We'll probably sell those because the horses aren't going through the straw as much. Uh, we're going to have to keep our eye on the sheep now because they're starting to they're starting to get populated over here. So we got to make sure we got plenty of hay bales. So the grass fields, I'll have to decide if I want to make some more hay. Although we do got a good amount of hay in here currently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bales at 9,000 liters a piece. So probably make some more silage. And then in the fall, we'll make some more hay just to make sure um, because we'll have plenty plenty of sheep uh, next year. So the wool is going to come in a little bit quicker, which means double the production at the spinnery because we're doing wool and cotton. Uh, but now we also got our fourth greenhouse now making strawberries as well we might upgrade the greenhouses in july depending on how the money is looking um and maybe also start uh not just making strawberries but maybe start making i can make soybeans and sell them straight maybe we can what, what we can do keep our eye on the market and find out what month is a good time to be selling some products and keep changing the greenhouses on what they make but uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, let me teleport back on over there we go and i'll get started back on this um, let's see, how are we doing here? Actually, let me go in here. Probably be easier to see this. Hide it inactive, and that way I can kind of see. Yeah, solid fertilizer is getting kind of low on that one. Seeds are fine. That's got a good amount of uh, solid fertilizer there. It just needs water. Water is not a problem. Just looking at seed and fertilizer. So, yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, upgrade all these because, uh, Upgrading all four of these would cost me $8,800. So that'll double the production out of that. So we possibly could uh, do that. Uh, something to think about. Uh, let me know what you think down below in the comments if we should upgrade these after we sell the planks and after we make sure we got enough chickens uh, in the chicken coop, which I think we should have. Um, but we'll just double them, eat, double all the greenhouses once, upgrade them all once. Probably, uh, but let, let, let me know what you think. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and top these all off with water so we're good to go for a while. And uh, yeah, so next time we will see you in July. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Solendra. But until then, have a good one.